hi guys welcome back to my channel please remember to like and subscribe um, so basically you're about to hear a account that actually happened in the government CIA these are our declassified documents this is part of a series that I'll be making for the CIA declassified documents um, so I can explain furthermore from the first video. There's a lot of information in that first video that I really didn't think how deep and there's a lot. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this. There is, indeed an island at the Indian Ocean coordinates. It shows prominently on a map in a commercially available atlas in S-13. Its name is Kerguelen Island, and it belonged to France. The outline of the island, as shown in the atlas, does not bear much resemblance to the price drawing, reproduced in one of the SRI reports. We seem to have both hits and misses, here. Underscore 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 called again, stating that he and others in CIA were so concerned that he underscore 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 had briefed the director of security on the full details and recommended that there be a high level meeting between CIA and NSA on the matter. I advised him Mr. Tate would be the NSA point of contact for such a meeting. Astral Ejection Caper Chapter 2 July 23rd, 1973 Telephone call from Top Secret Subject has made a second visit to the underground installation. This occurred at 1,930 hours on July 15, 1973. Price's description surprised at the number of government personnel working on a Sunday evening. Two military officers having a conference. They were C.O.L.R.J. Hamilton, Chief of Security, probably newly assigned. And M.G.E.N. George R. Nash. Nash was upset about a security leak and emphasized that it must be stopped. The name of the underground facility is Hayfork or Haystack. Other code words on papers and documents in the facility are Flytrap and Minerva. On the north wall of one room are a series of gray, locked cabinets. Inside the cabinets are a number of folders marked with code words, including Q-Ball, 14-Ball, 4-Ball, 8-Ball, and Rackup. On the outside of a cabinet is the word, pool. Subsequent actions. Blank space. Has been with USAF Security Service for many years. I know him only. Sheet, sheet of paper, continued on another sheet, and continued this process until several separate sheets had been filled in and subject had returned to his starting point. When the pages were joined together, the result was an exact match and an absolutely accurate topographical map of the island. Subject also described exactly what was going on the island. Blank space. There are not now and so far as CMDR Long determined never have been people assigned to the facility with the names of Hamilton, Nash, or Long as claimed by Price. No one CMDR Long contacted at the facility admitted to recognizing any of the so-called code words seen by Price. A guide escorting CMDR Long on a tour of two of the buildings volunteered that this is our Haystack facility. The results of some independent actions I have taken over the past several weeks to confirm slash deny the validity of the price slash swan information. Missing paragraph. There was an NRL experiment run at asterisk blank space asterisk circa 1969 to see whether CVAs could be tracked via moonbounced signals. The equipment employed at, blank space, was called the Haystack Installation. It probably is still used by the Navy but, presumably, NSA doesn't know what for. Blank space. Astral projection caper. Chapter 3. August 8, 1973. Telephone call from blank space. Subject volunteered to attempt to locate a facility in the USSR comparable to the underground installation previously described. Found it, 
gave its exact coordinates, not mentioned underscore 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 specifically, but said to be in the Ural Mountains. Subjects described external features, including helicopter pads, rail spur, and, some miles away, 30 to 40 miles, large dish antennas. Subject said the antennas were used for intercepting downlink from Soviet satellites. CIA found such a facility at the coordinates given by subject. Photos. Show large dish antennas. The number of antennas was different from that counted by subjects. And their dimensions were slightly different dash. In a double-blind experiment, subject was fed the coordinates of a small Soviet-occupied island in the Indian Ocean. The island did not show on the map used by the experimenters. In fact, the latter Asumi the subject was being target against open ocean as a test. Subject began drawing a large-scale map of an island, following its periphery. He soon ran off his Astral Projection Caper Chapter 4 September 6, 1973 Visit to CMDR George Long, NIS by way of background, on August 14, 1973, I briefed CMDR Long generally on this caper and asked him to personally determine whether the blank space bore any resemblance to the subject's description of the so-called underground installation. I provided along with a copy of both the Price and Swan narrative descriptions and the two maps drawn by Swan. Long visited the facility, and the following are his general comments. Written details to be furnished me in a day or two. There is an astonishing similarity between Price's narrative, coupled with Swan's maps, and the real thing. The general physical layout of blank space is almost identical with the Swan map NR.2, including the depression of some sort, something round, the flagpole, the road, and some of the buildings. There is an underground facility at blank space, consisting unreadable floors. The first floor is unclassified, while the one below a classified records storage area. The dimensions of this later same as given by price. There are a large number of gray filling in the room. Astral Projection Caper Chapter 5 September 7, 1973 A brief summary of new developments, findings, and some observations. We have received copies of two SRI reports containing more details of the initial, Price and Swan visits to the blank space location. One of the reports states that Price was given the target coordinates by phone, that he mailed his response back to SRI, and that he took about 24 hours to begin writing his description of the area. This leaves his performance about as solid as a chunk of Swiss cheese. There was plenty of time for him to look at a map, refer to aerial-slash-space photos at a library, ECT, dash perhaps even to confer with Swan. 2. The SRI reports contained the coordinates of the Ural Mountains and Indian Ocean targets. There were passed to SLL, with a request to check them out. The result. A. Blank space, available to NSA does not show anything within a 25-mile radius of the target in the USSR. We have not tried to reconcile this finding with blank space oral report of CIA's finding. We have SLL to expand the search area to a 50-mile radius. B. Found nothing close, in either rank or name, to MGEN George R. Nash. Found that flytrap, Minerva, Cubal, Pool. Had been used as codewords, mythological designators, nicknames, and voice radio call signs in the past, but since about 1966. Some go back to the 50s. No record of current assignment or usage. 